Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about determining the relationship of the volume between a rectangular prism and a pyramid, a cylinder and a cone, and a cylinder and sphere. Relationship of the volume between a rectangular prism and a pyramid. The volume of pyramid is exactly one-third of the volume of a prism with exactly the same basis and height. To understand fully the relationship between a rectangular prism and a pyramid, let's discuss with an illustration. This is a rectangular prism. As you can see, the bottom is in the shape of a rectangle. And all other surfaces are rectangles too. This is a rectangular pyramid. Why do we call this a rectangular pyramid? As you can see, the bottom or the base is in a shape of a rectangle. So, we call this a rectangular pyramid. And all other surfaces are triangles. These two solid figures have three dimensions. They have the length, the width, and the height. For this rectangular prism, the length is 8 centimeters. The width is 3 centimeters and height of 5 centimeters. As well as this rectangular pyramid, the width is 3 centimeters, the length is 8 centimeters, and a height of 5 centimeters. They have the same dimensions. So, how many rectangular pyramid can fit into? this rectangular prism. Yes, you are right. There are three rectangular pyramid can fit into this rectangular prism. Now let's solve the volume of these two solid figures. Let's prove if the volume of a pyramid is one-third the volume of a rectangular prism. So, to find the volume of a rectangular prism, we're going to use this formula. Volume is equal to base times height. We're going to get the area of the base, then we're going to multiply it to its height. So, this rectangular prism has three dimensions. We have the length, which is 8 centimeters, the width, which is 3 centimeters, and the height, which is 5 centimeters. So, let's substitute the dimensions to our formula. For the base, we have 8 centimeters and 3 centimeters. And for the height, it is 5 centimeters. We're going to multiply 8 centimeters and 3 centimeters. And the area of the base is equal to 24 square centimeters. Then, this area of the base, we're going to multiply it to the height, which is 5 centimeters. 24 centimeters square times 5 centimeters is equal to 120 cubic centimeters. Then, let's solve the volume of this pyramid. Volume is equal to base times height divided by 3. We're going to get the area of the base, which is in a shape of a rectangle. So, the width is 3 centimeters, the length is 8 centimeters, and a height of 5 centimeters. So, let's substitute the dimensions to our formula. For the base, we have 8 centimeters and 3 centimeters. And for the height, it is 5 centimeters. Then we're going to divide it by 3. Let's find the area of the base. 8 centimeters times 
3 centimeters is equal to 24 square centimeters. Then times 5 centimeters is equal to 120 cubic centimeters. Divided by 3, the volume of this rectangular pyramid is equal to 40 cubic centimeters. As you can see, 40 cubic centimeters is one-third of 120 cubic centimeters. Therefore, the volume of a pyramid is one-third the volume of a rectangular prism. Next, we're going to discuss about the relationship of the volume between a cylinder and a cone. The volume of a cone means the third part of the volume of a cylinder, having the same base and the same height. As you can see, there are three cones that can fit into one cylinder. This means that the volume of a cone is one-third to the volume of a cylinder. <music> Lastly, we are going to discuss about the relationship of the volume between a cylinder and a sphere. The volume of a sphere is two-thirds the volume of a cylinder having the same base and the same height. This is a sphere and this is a cylinder. The radius of this sphere is equal to the radius of this cylinder. And this is the height of this cylinder. If I'm going to fill this sphere with water and pour it into our cylinder, it looks like this. The volume of a sphere is only two-thirds the volume of the cylinder. To find the volume of a cylinder, we're going to use this formula. Volume is equal to pi radius squared times height. The height of the water inside the cylinder is 2 times radius, since there are 2 radius in a sphere. We're going to derive a formula how to find the volume of the sphere. We're going to use this concept. Since the volume of a sphere is two-thirds the volume of a cylinder, then we're going to multiply two-thirds to the volume of a cylinder. Volume is equal to two-thirds times pi radius squared times height. But we don't have height in a sphere. So, we're going to use this concept. The height of the water inside the cylinder is 2 times radius. So, we're going to substitute 2R to H or the height. So, we have 2 third times pi R squared times 2 times radius. So, let's multiply. 2 times pi r squared times 2 times radius. We're going to multiply the constant. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Then, we're going to copy pi. Then, radius squared times radius is equal to radius cube or cubic radius. Then, we're going to divide it by 3. This is the volume of a sphere. To find the volume of the sphere, we're going to use this formula. Volume is equal to 
4 times pi radius cube divided by 3. Therefore, the relationship of the volume of a sphere is two-thirds of the volume of a cylinder. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.